Hello there, John here. In this video, we continue our series of BIOS tweaks by looking at APE, ASUS Performance Enhancement. Stay tuned to see the results. Spoiler alert, it's not worth the effort. What is ASUS Performance Enhancement? If we go into BIOS, we see that the only option is to enable it. In order to figure out what APE does, I loaded up Ryzen Master and looked at what, if any, settings change when APE was enabled. What I found is very interesting and also explains some of the other settings in the BIOS. With APE enabled, the system turns on Precision Boost Overdrive and adjusts the three parameters, the PPT, TDC, and EDC values. If you recall, in our last video, we actually enabled Precision Boost Overdrive, just generically, turned it on, and we saw some significant improvement. When PBO is enabled without APE also being enabled, PPT is at 395, TDC is at 160, and EDC is at 190. Switching PBO back to auto and enabling APE, PBO is turned on automatically, and PPT is cranked up to 1,000. TDC is also cranked up to 1000, while EDC is reduced to 180. Based on this activity, I now understand why PBO's default entry is auto and not disabled. If it were disabled, enabling APE wouldn't do anything. So in short, enabling APE allows ASUS to enable PBO, Precision Boost Overdrive, with these particular settings for the PBO parameters. Please stay tuned for a future video where we will take a deeper dive into PPT, TDC, and EDC. But for right now, however, do these changes make any difference? Unfortunately, no, they didn't. As we can see from our chart, if PBO was already enabled, also, no, also enabling APE does not add any appreciable effect. For Civ6, 3D Mark, and Blender, the improvement over having generic PBO enabled was less than one half a percent. Frankly, this could be within the margin of error. On Premiere Pro, the results were actually slightly worse by about a half a percent. So that's it for this one. For my testing, I would recommend enabling PBO, but not APE. You may be better served to tweak the Precision Boost Overdrive settings for your particular system, but we will try to investigate that in a future video. It pays not to believe the hype. ASUS advertised up to a 17.5% performance improvement with APE, but was not clear what that improvement was compared against. Even so, uh, clock speeds don't necessarily translate to direct real-world performance. So for this one, we are not going to use APE going forward, and will instead try to find other ways to tweak PBO performance. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one.